my dear visitors and subscribers. Over the past few months I have tested a dozen of engines at the stand. After, work After working on the stands, many of them were simply oiled with outrun oil, turned several times to distribute the oil inside the crankcase, and set aside until preparing for storage. Since many of my engines goes to the collection for long-term storage, I decided to specially prepare them and share with you the simple but effective process from the point of view of the engine's safety. The first thing which simplifies uh, this preparation, that is 99 of the Enya 4-stroke engines have almost the same, the same uh, design, only sizes differ. So we take an engine, so I will take the Enya uh, 46-4C, Yes, and uh, taking away the front of the crankcase, also removing low plug if it have a low plug. My 46 for c low plug was almost removed. So we just simply take away the front housing. Yes. And this is the story begins because we take it away. So it looks inside uh, more or less clear but uh, for long storage, long time storage, uh, I should be sure for 100% that it's uh, absolutely prepared for this long time. I don't know how it will. Uh, it will be two months or, or half a year or I don't know, or months only. So. I take the box, almost, you see, and put this there. This is two parts. Next, next, okay, let it be in yeah, 35 for C. Making absolutely the same, the absolutely the same thing. So, take away front case and of course the glow plug here internally you can see and jeans also looks like very nice but anyhow I prefer to have a 100% insurance that engine will be uh, good storage. So next box for 35 for C engine. Yes. And do not forget to take to take away the low plug. Okay, perfect. So let it be any uh, 64C engine. Yes. And for this engine, you can see engine is also looks like pretty good inside. Anyhow, it will it should be prepared for long storage time. So, we have three engines and uh, uh, we are going to, to, to clean them very, very soon, very fast. So, right now we are fill the ultrasonic bath with a genuine usual regular kerosene switch it on and right now we are uh, take both parts of the engine and dip them into ultrasonic bath in like that so and switch switch it for just a few minutes I think five minutes of bathing both parts of an engine are enough to wash the remaining fuel and residuals from the 
hard to reach places. Then we can use a normal syringe to insert some kerosene into the glow black hole, but this is its engine it's uh, deep enough and there is no necessary to do it with a syringe. Okay, this is, I should say, more than enough. And so, doing the same with the next engine. Not for a long time. And the next engine. So, making a few turns and left the parts to dry. It is enough, hot enough, and everything will dry out pretty quickly. So the rest, what we should do is to generously lubricate all the rubbing surfaces of the engine, adding a few drops into the cylinder, area of piston, pin to the bearings and again putting the crankcase in place. Being predictive, going to share with you my personal after-run oil mixture receipt. So I'm using in equal proportions, like one third of each. The three-in-one universal uh, oil, clothes model loop gas burner. Yes, it recommends really by clothes uh, as uh, after-run oil, and one third of the Mobil ATF Dextron 6 ATF, also one third. So I'm just mix it in one small bottle and use it in to oil the engine uh, for long time storage. This mix mostly natural, so no exit reaction, so and it will keep engine internal safe for a long time as I always uh, say. That's everything. Engine is ready for, uh, for storage, excellently protected from a possible corrosion. So thank you for watching Crazy Engines and have a nice day.